We're starting out here because there's a break in the rain, beautiful Florida rain. And uh, this is the outside. This is a uh, protein skimmer, works very well. This little can gets emptied about once a week. And on top of here is the actual air conditioning unit to keep the uh, temperature at the proper temperature. So now we're in the house, dry t-shirt, nice t-shirt, huh? Anyway, uh, the plumbing comes in through here, comes into the actual system. I monitor the pH, I monitor the temperature, 76.5, 77.7, that's where I keep it. Uh, we have your classic wet dry system. We just got away from the uh, halides and we just came for the LEDs. By the way, my electric bill has dropped by $100. This is an LED system. Took the timers up and away from the bottom. That's pretty much the dangerous part of the uh, of the uh, tank. I've actually had a fish tank uh, catch fire. I actually burned down my office. But I got a big fat insurance check, so it's kind of cool. Uh, but we try to keep as, as much of the electrical on top as possible. The fan on top sucks the air from the back of the fish tank and blows it into the living room. And uh, not that the LEDs throw off a lot of heat, but it's a precaution. You notice right now I have a little bit of a uh, air algae problem. Uh, it's almost under control. Just hired about 40 turbo snails, and uh, they've been steadily at work. This tank has an interesting history. It's a 15 year old reef. Um, when we had the hurricanes hit us on uh, seven years ago, I got wiped out. We lost the power, my generator blew up, it was a 10 day. Five days no power, one day power, and then five days again no power. And I lost all my generators. And uh, I lost a lot of crawl. It was really a, a problem. But uh, this is pretty much seven year old coral right now. And uh, it's making a nice comeback. We have a phosphate problem. That's when you see this hair out, you notice it's just about dead. Calerba, big shortage, and uh, no matter where I went online, actually I bought a clump in eBay, about, about that size right there for $29. I found a, uh, a supplier in uh, Florida that has this, it's a pretty cool Calerba, it's a triple, triple Calerba, and it's exploding. So uh, it's now bringing your phosphate levels down, and as you can see the hair is just dying and coming up and uh, once your phosphate goes away, the chlorophyll dies, and so does the cycle. But uh, that's basically it. Uh, I'm not too much of the hard corals. I, I work real hard, don't have a lot of time to monitor the hard corals. Soft corals I have a lot of luck with. God knows how many elegants I've bought and lost. But uh, anyway, I'm pretty happy considering the amount of hours I work. I'm pretty happy with uh, what this is. And, uh, it's a nice system. This is pig. Pig was brought into uh, my local pet shop. They couldn't keep him anymore. And I uh, rescued his uh, butt. He's quite a character. What kind of puffer is this? I don't even know. I think he's a tiger puffer or something. But he's a pig. He eats and eats and eats. What do you feed him? Uh, he likes clams. He likes shrimp. He likes silver sides. All right, let me show you how I feed him. See, See what, a, what a piggy really is. By the way, we, we caught pig in his uh, dormant stage. The lights don't go on until 5 o'clock and it's only 2 o'clock right now. I'm not so sure how he's going to feed. He's a pig. He's going to feed. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he nailed my finger one day. I'll tell you what. It was scary. How's that? I was cleaning the tank and he grabbed me. 
It's got a beak. No stitches? No. I gotta wait just in time. I'm gonna show you the next tank. Okay. Pig Junior. What's interesting about the symbiotic relationship of those fish and uh, little pig is that they like to chew it up and all the little chunks that come out, they take care of. He's quite the little hunter. You gotta watch these season. Wow. Now you'll see everybody else eating little tiny pieces. <laughs>